thank you again for being here. Um, thank you, Wendy, and thank you again, Kate, for sharing your inspiring story. So um, my name is Carly Ann Burgess, and I'm the director of XRC Labs, which is a retail tech accelerator. What is that, and what do we do? So XRC, we're charged with the mission of finding the next generation of disruptors who are shifting fashion and retail. So the way we do that is by sourcing and helping to support entrepreneurs who are coming up with different solutions, mostly tech-enabled solutions, to help, in many ways, improve customer experience. So a lot of the solutions that we've, uh, that we've developed or helped support over the past few years include companies that are disrupting manufacturing, distribution, uh, companies that are coming up with omni-channel solutions, and in some cases, companies that are coming up with new distribution channels. Because there's this notion that store traffic is down, so now you have to be able to meet customers where they are. So we have a great company who is leveraging Airbnb, WeWork, and Uber as a way to find customers. Those are some of the places that they are. <laughs> and it's contextually relevant to what they're doing at the moment. So, um, so that's the mission of XRC. Um, as I mentioned, we've been around for a few years. Uh, we launched in partnership with Carson School of Design and Kurt Salmon, who's now part of Accenture. I'm also a proud Carson alum, so that's how I um, started at XRC as well. And although we support great entrepreneurs who are coming up with these innovative ideas, no matter how brilliant an entrepreneur is, or how great their technology is, the most important thing for us is the customer. It doesn't matter how brilliant your idea is. If it's not helping to improve the customer's experience, uh, if it's not solving any problem, it's not really. <coughs> so that is our key focus. And that sort of segues into the topic that we're going to talk about, this notion of reinventing luxury or redefining luxury. Uh, when you look at luxury retail or luxury businesses, the key um, factor is serving the customer. And luxury has always been great at mastering that. It's always been the highest touch of consumer experience. And there are a lot of things that haven't changed in terms of the customer expectations um, with luxury and the quality of the product. But the way that customers receive product or the way that they engage with brands has changed. And that's due to a lot of the, to a rise in the internet and social media. So brands have to adapt, or companies have to adapt to these new customer expectations. So what are some of the new trends that we see that sort of ties back to luxury or retail and some of the things that stores should be paying attention to? Uh, the first one is this notion that Scarcity is the new inventory. And I think luxury has always uh, had this sense of exclusive, exclusivity. <laughs> but uh, when you look at drop culture, this idea that you create a limited supply of product, uh, sometimes it's tied to a collaboration, whether it's with an artist or a celebrity, and you release a drop date, people come, buy it off the shelf. <clears throat> a lot of brands are adopting this. So Supreme and Kip, uh, they've done a great job at it for years. And uh, maybe Christopher will tell us a bit more about how Barney's has adopted this with um, the drop at Barney's. Uh, but uh, this is a trend that continues to grow. Uh, scarcity is new inventory. Uh, another trend is you know, um, helping to continue to improve the in-store experience. This has always been a huge uh, component of the luxury experience, but now there are new integrations with technology. So how can stores leverage technology to help make this experience more seamless for their customers? Because now this idea of you know, where the luxury customer lives has changed. Like they're not all you know, up Madison Avenue or Fifth Avenue anymore. Uh, they live in, they're located in different geographic areas, so how can technology be leveraged to meet these customers? Whether it's through AR and VR, leveraging new marketing solutions that can pick up on purchase intent and social media comments, 
There are all of these different solutions out there uh, that can be adopted to help to improve the in-store experience. No one has to go to the store anymore. If store traffic is down, you have to give a customer a reason to leave their house or leave or not go to a social engagement to come into your store. So there are lots of ways that our technology is being leveraged to, to do this. Um, another one is the rise in the rental economy. And this is going to continue to happen. Um, I'm sure everyone's familiar with Rent the Runway. They've had a lot of great success um, with this. Um, there's uh, a rise in terms of millennial or um, in Gen Z. Um, there are certain items that I don't need to own. If it's um, an elaborate jacket or bag, I might wear it one time. I don't need to buy it. I don't need to invest in it forever. Rent it for that event and return it. And this is going to continue to happen uh, for years to come. So um, we just saw, uh, there's a startup that just, the launch was just, was just announced, it's called Rotary. They're actually adopting this model for streetwear. And streetwear is a trend that's permeated into, into the luxury market as well. So we're going to continue to see um, new models of rental uh, rights as well. And uh, as Kay mentioned, um, she was wrapping up her speech, of course, sustainability. There's a lot that's um, happening with pollution. Uh, fashion in particular is the second most polluting industry I oil. And our generation is concerned with the environment and the impact that some of the brands that we consume are having on that. So a lot of brands are going to have to align with missions around sustainability to continue to appeal to customers. So, um, so those are some of the quick trends uh, that I wanted to highlight that um, we look at at XRC. And now I'm going to jump into the panel. So we have an amazing panel of professionals across different sectors of the luxury industry. And they're going to come up and share their personal definition of luxury and how they see it moving forward in the future. So I'm going to invite the first panelist up. I'll just play. 